Welcome back to the channel. I got something exciting in the mail today. And it's something for my RV that I was actually looking to purchase at some point. However, this company called Set Power sent me a portable refrigerator. If you live in your RV full time like I do, I have a gas and electric one. This thing absolutely stinks. And actually the temperature is actually low today, but it's only 70 something degrees here in Utah. So likewise, it's gonna work well. But in the summertime, this thing does not cool well. And it's partially because we live full time. And as you know, down below, you tend to fill this thing up and does not work well when you do that. But let's go ahead and unbox the new Set Power portable refrigerator, which is gonna be the RV60D. So here it is. This is the Set Power RV60D. The RV45 is the cheaper one and it's a little bit smaller and the numbers basically measure 45 quarts or 60 quarts. Now this one has just a little bit more height than the 45 and I'll show it to you here. And that's really the only difference between the two. Now, as you can see, there's a handle off to the side. You can roll this around. You have this below. This actually will connect to it and you have wheels. So this is truly a portable refrigerator. Normally, RV manufacturers will give you an outside refrigerator. I deem that useless. This is so much better because if you want to go to the beach or anything like that, you can take this with you. Now, here's the biggest reason why you should buy this refrigerator. In the event your refrigerator at your RV or at your home or wherever you are goes out, you literally have a place to store some of your expensive foods. Like if you have steak, if you have any types of meat that's expensive, you have this to cool it and keep it where it won't spoil. Another reason is sometimes we take long trips without our RV and I don't really prefer to leave on our refrigerator. So sometimes what we'll do is we'll eat out everything in our refrigerator and then we'll take whatever's left and we'll put it in a cooler. Now I have this so we can literally travel and freeze the foods that need to be frozen on this side or refrigerate everything else. So another thing I don't like about this refrigerator is the fact that it does build up a lot of ice on the top. So while you're cleaning out your refrigerator, you can still, again, keep a lot of your foods that are a little bit more expensive, like steak, which is something we normally keep in our house, put it in here and we can clean this out without having to skip a beat. So having a portable refrigerator goes beyond just having something you can take with you. It also helps if you have an issue with your refrigerator, you can still put stuff in here. And this is really large. Now I'm gonna finish unboxing this stuff here, but I just wanted to show you guys how it came to me. But you have these two boxes, which we'll open here in a second. And then check out the storage you have on this side. And I didn't mention this too, but when it got here, it was actually really cold inside of here. So that goes to show that this casing on the outside is really robust. It does hold the temperatures extremely well. And I do love the fact, watch this. If you want, you could flip around this cover to, for each side. Really easy to do. I did it holding it with my camera. And here's the display on the front. It's really nice. Everything looks good. Really tough plastic. I can sit on this and my wife can sit on this. We can actually both stand on this thing. That's just how sturdy and stable it is. So let's go ahead and open these boxes to see what's in here. So I just took everything out of the box. So you have some accessories, some power, some tools and some hardware, and then looks to be some instructions. And then let's go ahead and open this box and see what's in here. All righty, so this looks to be the wheels. Yep, these are the wheels. And so you have the hardware. They even give you some tools to put the wheels on so you don't have to have any tools. So if you get this and you're not in a place where you can install this, they already have everything provided for you. I like that they do that. But yeah, we're not gonna put the wheels on today. Let's go ahead and pull the power out because we're gonna reconvene tomorrow. So this will all be in one video, obviously. But I wanna go ahead and turn it on and let's see how loud it is. Let's see the display up front and then we will see how cool it gets inside. 
So really quickly, let's talk about power. Now you can run this on direct current, which is 12 volt, 24 volt, and then alternating current, which is a 110 volt outlet that you see at your house. And this one's gonna be for the direct current. So you can plug this into your car. Now, one thing I love about this is if you do have a plug into your car, and let's just say you forget about it, this will actually detect that your battery is low in your car and it will stop pulling power from it. So this is a smart refrigerator. I like that they do that. It's rated power consumption is about 60 watts and it does have a 15 amp fuse. Let's find out where that is. I think it's on the outside. And while we're down here, you can take a look at this casing. This weighs about 41 pounds as well. So you can see down below, this is where you're gonna plug in at. And then this is the 15 amp fuse. So if this blows, that means it's not gonna work, right? So let's go ahead and plug it in. We're gonna check out the interface. So the plug goes in like this. And it does actually turn this on. It'll just show you that you have power that it goes back off again. But it already has the temperatures up top. You have max and eco. So if you put it in eco, obviously if you already had it on at the house cooling, you could put it on eco mode. To conserve on some of the energy you're using. And it's actually pretty quiet. You can kind of hear that compressor. Really quiet actually. Now let's go ahead and open it up. I love that they give you a light inside of here. And they have just like a chart here for your food types and what it should be at for the temperature. And one thing I want to show you guys, so there's a divider right here. So this is the freezer on this side. And then this is the refrigerator side. So let's just see what happens if I take the divider out. So as you can see, if this divider is not in there, this becomes a single temperature refrigerator. Love that they did that. Like that is so cool. And again, some people may not need the freezer side of things. We probably may use this primarily as a freezer just because we wanna uh, just kind of free up some space up there. And honestly, we probably may have to use it as a refrigerator because we do have more stuff that we could take out. So I don't know, maybe, I don't know, we have to figure things out. But one thing that you probably didn't notice inside of here, there is a drain plug. This does come out. And as I mentioned, I mean, if you don't want anything in here, if you just want this to be a single uh, temperature refrigerator, you have that option. So it's been a few days. I've been letting this just run constantly. I've been changing the temperature up and down, just checking the reliability of it. And overall, it's been on for a few days and it's been working flawlessly. It's still pretty cold inside. I just raised the temperature a little bit. And then I actually took everything out and cleaned it because it was kind of dirty in here. So I figured before I start putting stuff in, I'll just clean it out. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put 40 bottles of water inside of here to see if they will all fit. And then I want to see if they're going to freeze on this side. I have the temperature down to zero. I am going to let this sit overnight, unfortunately, because it's pretty much late in the day. But I just want to see if this will freeze on the freezer side and also obviously cool the ones on the refrigerator side. So let's go ahead and get them in there. As you guys can see, I have 40 bottles of water in here. I'm gonna pick this thing up too to see how heavy it is. Now, the only reason why I took the door off, because I didn't wanna confuse you guys, was because I wanted to switch which side it's on because the way I'm gonna be storing this at, it needs to be on this side. So I said earlier in the video, you have a reversible top. But I'm gonna to put this down to 25. And you saw that it raised the temperature a little bit right here to like one degree because I had it open for a little bit. 
but I like that it has a thermostat so it tells you the temperature of both sides. I did take out this rack just because, or basket really is what it's called, because I just want a little bit more space on the freezer side. But yeah, you don't even have to have the divider in here, but I wanna see if it's gonna freeze any of these waters on that side. And yeah, it should be good to go. So what we'll do is we'll reconvene tomorrow and then I'll go over a few more things and that will effectively end this video. While we wait for the waters to freeze, I'm sure you guys noticed that I already installed the wheels in this support frame for them. So let's go ahead and walk through what you need to do to get this installed. Up first, you are gonna to have to unscrew these two screws on each side. Next, you're gonna take the support frame and you're gonna see where you're gonna screw into four different places, which I'll show you here in a second. Up next, they give you these four screws that you can use to hand tighten. I like that they did that because now you don't need to carry around tools. And there's four, so there's two on the right side and then two on the other side. And then that's pretty much it for this. Up next, we have to install the wheels onto the support frame. And I would like to mention that these wheels are pretty heavy, so I'm pretty sure they're pretty durable, so don't feel like you have to be careful with them. And up next, you're just going to slide them onto the support frame. And they do provide these nuts for you. And then they did provide a spanner, so this is going to help you to tighten these nuts for you. So you, as I mentioned earlier, you don't need tools. And this is the next thing we have to put on. These are going to basically be the supporting base. And there's one for each side. And if you would like to install the other elastic handle, you do have to remove these little plastic tabs that hide the screw holes. And all you have to do is just put everything together. They do provide the screws for you and the tools as I mentioned earlier and it's a little cumbersome at first but once you get the hang of it it's really easy to put on so I did decide to put one side on first and I just kind of hand tighten with this tool and then the next one I put on and I hand tighten this side as well and the only thing that's left to do now is to put these plastic covers over to hide the screws and that way it looks really nice and don't forget to store everything together so you don't lose it in case you need these things in the future. Alrighty, so it's the next day. So this has been cooling for about eight hours. I did come back out and check on it with about 45 minutes. And on the larger side, the temperature was a lot higher than versus the smaller side, which was kind of surprising because there's a lot more waters that were warmer. Now, keep in mind, when I put the waters in here, they were at room temperature. So I opened it up this morning and some of them actually do have ice in them. So these are on the top. This one did not ice unless one of my kids came in here and pushed that over there. But on the bottom here, this is completely iced. Completely iced there. This one's not. But for the most part, having, you know, what is that? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve waters on this side, and the, subtract uh, twelve from forty is what's over here, which is what's that? That's twenty-eight. Twenty-eight bottles of water right here, and these are pretty much all cold. Yeah, especially the ones at the bottom. These are a lot colder. So having forty bottles of water at room temperature, figure you'll probably need about twelve hours to freeze the ones that were over here, but I would say maybe five or six hours to cool the other side. But I really like this refrigerator. It's definitely something that's cool. I mean, even with all the waters in, you know, this being 41 pounds, I could still lift this. Now my wife probably wouldn't be able to lift this. I would let her. She probably could actually, she's gonna get mad at me. But, but like I said, I installed the handles on and it's too heavy. You can roll it and you can roll this downstairs too. The wheels are further back on this design to where you can probably roll it down some steps too that we don't have to pick this up. But I hope this video was helpful. You do get a discount of about 12% on this if you do order it from me. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, there are a lot of refrigerators through set power. Like this is not the only one they have. They have all kinds. They even have battery power ones. I actually wanted a battery power one because I wanted to check out how long the battery lasts. But this one is just as good because once you unplug this thing and you take it with you, it'll still stay cold, even if you don't have it plugged in. 
And if you do need it to stay cooler, you can always plug it into your car. So this is a great design. I love this refrigerator. I did do some stress tests. Like I put a lot of hot stuff in here. This, this, uh, the compressor has not turned off for like the last probably day and a half. Like, so it's been running at full capacity. You can hear it right now, probably. But it's been running like that for like the last couple of days because I've just been, you know, keeping it open like this, letting it run, putting stuff in there, taking stuff out, and it's held up pretty well for the almost week I've had it. So I hope this was helpful. Be sure to give them a look up. If you would like to buy this one, there's a 45 quart and a 60 quart. And in the description, I have the discount code for you guys. See you in the next video.